Hi Cherubs, welcome to day 14 of 30 Days of Cleaning with Hayley. By now we are almost halfway through our cleaning and organising. By now you should be feeling accomplished and a lot more organised. Imagine how you are going to feel in 15 days time with all the cleaning and organising you have done throughout your home. Today team, we are sorting out our linen cupboards. Jacob Fry, a cabinet maker, immigrated with his family in 1799 from Bucks County, Pennsylvania. He is believed to have made a linen cupboard, at the time they were called a linen press, for his son Henry during the 1820s for his wedding in 1823. Homes of this period generally did not have closets, so linen presses provided valuable storage space. Fast forward to today and not much has changed. Whether we use a linen cupboard, linen cabinet, linen box or linen drawer, we all use these for the same reason, and that is for storage of our linens. Many of us have way too many linens, me included. We place these away thinking that they will come in handy one day in the future, and rarely they do. So I want all of us to get up, head to our linen cupboards, drawers, whatever it is you store your linens in, and we are going to be tackling that. I am really, really pumped for this vlog because I really believe that once we have finished this, you guys, along with my helpful hacks, are gonna feel great. Here is the space that I currently store all of my linens. This is what we're working with at the moment. This is how it was when we moved into the property. This is what we're working with currently. As always, here on the Haley's Help YouTube channel, I like us to all start with an empty space. This empty space, space. Space. Who sings that James Arthur? <laughs> but only you can feel this empty space. Start with an empty space, guys. You can sing if you want, it's optional, it's not required. You want to clean the space before you put the stuff back in it. We're going to remove everything out. I've already done this, everything's out of here now. And then we're going to clean it. The last thing you want when it comes to linens is a nice, fresh bed sheet being stored away somewhere that might have picked up some dust or some dirt. So it's a good idea, maybe once a month, to wherever you store your linens to give it a clean. So what we're gonna be doing is using the vacuum to get rid of any dust or any lint that might be within our linen cupboards. And then we're gonna go over it with a mild detergent like dish soap. <laughs> we should have between two and three sets. One for the bed, one for the linen cupboard, and one that can be washed. I personally choose to not have this many just because I don't like lots of clutter, but if it works for you and your family having sets of three, then go with that. Towels, you should have three per person. So two bath towels and one smaller hand towel. This allows for when you need to wash, you've got a backup set available. Now we've established what quantities we need, let's move on to the organising. When it comes to our linen cupboards, we need to take hold of the fold. Folding the correct way is going to help you beyond measure. Have you ever gone to pull out a towel of your linen cupboard and an avalanche of linens has fallen on top of you? The folding technique I am about to show you guys not only looks the part, but it's functional too. Let's start with a fitted sheet. Now, I have seen so many people do tutorials on how to fold these, and I just find them exhausting. So for example, you've got this one technique where you stand in the whole sheet, like, hello, is this Halloween or what? Who are we? Ghosts. And you do like a starfish, and then you bring it together, and then you pull it round. Ain't nobody got time for that, girl. I just don't have the energy or time to do it. I'm gonna be real with you guys, I don't. What I tend to do when it comes to these type of sheets is I fold the sides inwards and then I bring the base bit up 
So this is a similar process to what I do with my towels. This is gonna turn it into almost like a square parcel. The reason I am not so fussed about creases when it comes to these type of sheets is if you've got a fitted sheet, once you put it on your bed, the creases will come out and if they don't, you can run an iron over it anyway. There you go. The same principle with the towels. So I fold them in either side and you want it to overlap slightly and then you're gonna fold up from the bottom and then down from the top. This will then sandwich the towel together and it makes it a lot more easier to take it out of your linen cupboard. When it comes to bedding, this is one of my all time favorite ways to do it. Fold your duvet cover inside out. When you go ahead and put it on your bed, it's gonna make it a lot more easier if the duvet cover is already inside out and then you kind of shake it on. Then you go ahead and use your pillowcases. You're gonna fold that into your duvet and then with the other pillowcase, you're gonna place the whole set within the pillowcase. This way, when it comes to bed changing day, you know the whole set's there, but it also keeps it organized. Now we've done the folding of our larger items, let's move on to smaller items. These will be things like napkins, if you keep them in your linen cupboard, or face cloths. For this, my best advice for this is get yourself some little storage baskets. These instantly make your linen cupboard look so much more neater and organised. I've got another storage solution as well for our bigger items, but we'll address that when we get to it. So when it comes to your washcloths or napkins, just fold them like I'm doing here. You don't wanna fold them right to the edge. Fold them so that this part is just over the center. And then you're just going to roll down until you reach the bottom. And then this is gonna go in your little baskets like this. We're gonna do this with the rest of our face cloths. And we will have a nice, organized looking container at the end of this. With our bigger linens, what is the best thing for these is one of these boxes. Now, what I don't want us to all do is just throw the stuff in here this way. It's not helpful. It's just gonna cause you more stress and aggravation. And it just makes the whole process a lot more trickier when it comes to changing your linens. The best thing to do for this is with one of these boxes, these are super cheap. You could even if you wanted to repurpose, like if you've got an old cardboard box, you could maybe wrap it in some nice fancy wrapping paper. Whatever you wanna use that you've got around your house, then you can also use that and do like a makeshift box. But these boxes are ideal. And when you put your stuff away, you wanna store them this way. So I'm gonna show you in our linen cupboard in a second. You don't want them down and then your linen's in, you want them to the side and your linen's facing out. So for example, this will go in your linen cupboard and then the linens that you have folded are gonna slot into your box like this. Once this is full, it will be nice and rigid. And when it comes to pulling out your, the things that you need, even if you've got something lower down, you're gonna avoid this whole avalanche effect where everything falls. The folding would have helped as well because the way we have folded it, we folded it so that everything's compact. So when you pull it out, it stays intact rather than it all falling into a bundle. So let's head out into our linen closet and we'll start storing stuff away into our side boxes. <laughs> cupboard looks like guys there is normally another box on top of this one for the rest of our linens however I am sorting my way through those any linens that you don't want to keep 
Before you throw them out, please consider donating them. These are really useful for, if they're in good condition, you can send them to homeless shelters. And if they're in poor condition and they've got holes in, dog shelters will take them as well. So please consider doing that before just tossing them in the garbage. This is much more organized now. I am really happy that I have sorted through all of my linens. I hope you guys are feeling good about it too. I've got my little washcloth basket here and I wanted to show you guys my bathroom basket. It looks like this. And these are really neat, these baskets, because they're stackable. So the smaller ones, this is a smaller basket, but I can stack it into the larger one just so that it's all there. These cleaning bottles are actually empty. So these are for more when I wanna put products in them and then do the bathroom clean. Don't store any cleaning products if you've got a heated um, linen cupboard because it's dangerous too. And also cleaning chemicals can be affected as well from the heat so don't store them if you've got a heated one like mine but if you haven't then you could put all of your cleaning products in there if you wanted to and that fills my heart with joy now that we've cleaned and organized our linen cupboards i want you to stop for a hot minute and i want you to imagine how our linen cupboards looked before and I want you to take a look at them now and recognize how you're feeling. It might be happiness, it might be a feeling of accomplishment, it might be a feeling of joy. Whatever that feeling is, I want you to hold on to that feeling and I want you to bring it with you into tomorrow's task where we're gonna be tackling another part of our house. If you know anyone that is stuck in a bit of a thunk when it comes to cleaning and organizing and you want them to feel the feeling that you are feeling now, then go ahead and share this video with them. I really do feel that by doing these tasks, it's so beneficial, not only for our homes, but for our minds as well. And I really do feel that it can reduce stress and anxiety. Click on the share button below this video guys, it's completely free and easy and let's go ahead and share the feel good bag. I hope you enjoyed this vlog guys, don't forget to click the like button if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment below, I would love to hear how you guys got on with organising your linen closets and I will see you again tomorrow for day 15. Bye guys, keep it clean.